Are you bored? Running out of things to do in quarantine? No more K drama to binge watch anymore? Ha <laughs> Let me introduce the world of anime. P.S. This is not my official anime starter kit for all y'all out there. I just think this sounds like a very cool or yang e intro. So let's just let's just continue. Good day, you're all humans. Oh my god, it is Summer Yang here. Your daily dose of craziness and somewhat awkwardness. Uh, yes, that's me. Yes. Hopefully, this MCO tomorrow will be ending in two weeks, but I really, really doubt so. So that is why I am doing this video, introducing a lot of animes that I have binged and also watched during MCO 1.0. But just in case if MCO Suborno will not be ending in two weeks, this is the video for you. So a little disclaimer for all of you, this list of anime that I will be recommending in this video are mostly my personal opinion. But if you guys have any other recommendation that you guys want to uh, add into this video, please do put it in your comments. And don't remember, uh, in your comments. Yeah, that's all. Are you dumb? <laughs> so for our first nominee, I introduce to you some bromance that blossomed through bad parenting. <laughs> if you guys are from the anime community, most of you already know what anime I'm actually talking about. Yes, it's Hunter x Hunter or Hunter x Hunter. Stop debating over Hunter x Hunter or Hunter x Hunter that are the same, okay? It's the same freaking anime. So Hunter x Hunter actually focused on Gon's journey in finding his father who abandoned him when he was young. Stop coming at me saying that he didn't really abandon him because he left Gon with his sister but he wasn't responsible to actually birth gone and he didn't want to be a parent okay yeah. along his journey in finding his father he met Kilwa which probably most of you will be simping for once I show you the picture I'm I'm the Sims and the older duo, duo which is uh, Kurapika which has a bit of the mommy feel for me <laughs> and Leo Rio Leo Rio Leo Rio I cannot pronounce his name and Leo Rio who has a bit of an uncle daddy kind of why yeah so what's so special about 100x100 that make me want to recommend with your all it is just my absolute favorite, okay? Hunter x Hunter is really really my absolute favorite anime and my comfort anime. And another point is that it has enough episode to really cover your whole entire uh, MCO season. Because it has 100 plus episodes, yeah, I'm probably sure it will cover your whole entire MCO season. Our second nominee we bring to you Angelic Killing Machine who's finding the purpose of life after the war. Wilder Ever Garden. The art is so amazing. Oh fuck! <laughs> I I feel you need to calm down, still. You're not lying, still. <laughs> <laughs> still. I get orgasm from my eyes. What is it called? Sight, gasm, eye gasm, eye gasm, eye gasm. <laughs> While the Ever Garden, who was a former missionary, missionary, I don't know how to pronounce the word. Somebody, please teach me or oh, most of the people in the anime call her a teenage killing machine is completely lost after the war and after the love of her life which is the general who i still sim for died he died and now she's just trying to move on in her life as a letter writer. To be honest, this anime is not like a typical mainstream anime which is filled with uh, plot and filled with action. It's more like a heartfelt anime that I absolutely adore. It is wholesome, but it has a sad side to it. So if you want to calm your hearts, but cry your heart out as well, this is a great anime for you. A few moments later I'm back in my room Alright, this this is a visual representation of Summer Yang not being able to create YouTube videos in front of her family So she has to run over to another room that is empty but 
Yeah, that is just the thing that I do now. So now we have the third nominee. So for our third nominee, we have shows that will make you laugh. And two, downstairs people also can hear you. Your mother will come up to your room and ask you, Tang, what are you doing? So we have Assassination Classroom. So it is actually about a mysterious yellow octopus creature. Uh, who possesses the power to destroy the moon but he actually made a deal with the Japanese government and he became the homeroom teacher of E-class in a high school that I forgot the name about the student in this class has two to three semesters to kill that teacher the amount of character development in this anime is actually quite impressive to me a whole class of students you actually can see each of the students uh, character development even though it is more focused on a gang of people you can still see some side characters development it is a very very nice anime but even though it is so funny you will cry you will cry like a baby who has lost his mommy at the end <laughs> So for our fourth nominee, we have shows that have the same vibes if the zombie prophecy in 2020 has come true. Hopefully it doesn't. Well, okay, it's not actually zombies, but vampires and werewolves. Stop, stop, stop. It is not Twilight. I bring to you an anime that I want to influence everybody to watch, but it's so underrated. Shiki! Oh god, Shiki! The scariest anime that I have watched. I have not really watched a lot of horror anime, even though I'm a very horror addict myself. But Shiki actually is very very scary to me in terms of psychology, even though uh, the horror that's within is actually quite scary as well. I watched this anime a long 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 time ago, uh, maybe five years ago I guess. It is about vampires and werewolves that suddenly emerge in a town in Japan and we get to see how the, how the villager panics and actually tries to eliminate this monster and we also get to see how this monster's uh, backstory is uh, I don't really remember this anime I just remember how awesome it is and how scary it is especially there is one scene oh god <laughs> I'm sorry that I really didn't give any more description on Shiki but I would rather you guys just watch it yourself because it's a, it is a very great horror anime. It's not a beginner horror anime but it's actually kinda... Conjuring... Level? Okay, so now we go on to our fifth nominee. So, fifth nominee is actually a dedication for your all honey bitches. So we have three animes in this category. So, we have Beastar. Oh god. You'll be simping over deer guys, wolf guy, rabbit girls, uh, what else, wolf girls, anime kingdom people. It is the black market Zootopia added with some horny ass, uh, etchy, hentai stuff. But in all seriousness, Beastar uh, does talk about racism and also negative stereotyping and a lot of other social issues that Zootopia also touched on. But it is more deeper, more uh, 21 plus plus. Uh, and then uh, you would not want your kids to watch it, but you might be interested to watch it to spice things up in the bedroom, I guess. <laughs> now we mark the end of this video. Whee! Thank you guys for actually watching this video until the end. Here's your trophy. Hope you guys like this kind of anime content because I will be also doing a lot of other anime content in this channel. Except for anime, I will also be doing a lot of life, college, work, a lot of the other other stuff that I like to do in this channel. I will be posting a video every Monday from now on because I am actually thinking of building my YouTube for serious now and look at all this shit that I have done. <laughs> and of course again, hope you guys like this kind of video. I love you, Saranghe, Aishteru, uh, what else, what I need, uh, aku sayang kamu, uh, I don't know anymore. Stay safe at home, drink more water and hope you guys are still in real peace. Summer, ow.